John, good luck on his special <laughs> race today, Zane. Can't wait to see that. And hopefully no rain for that big race yeah. for John today. Sounds like he'll be okay. He needs to pick the middle of the day. Yeah, yes. then he'll probably be fine. We do have some storms, though, ahead at some point here today, Nicole. Right now, it looks most likely to be the evening hours for most Iowans. There's a chance this morning for some of us we'll talk about. A lot of us are going to have some more heat and some mugginess added back into the equation today as well. After yesterday, we got a little bit drier heat. Well, by Sunday, not going to be any heat at all. We're going to be cooling down quite a bit. and We'll have some lingering showers and a lot more clouds here as we head towards tomorrow. Nearest cloud covers across southern Iowa here this morning. As we widen out the picture, you can see as we watch the past couple of hours, there's some light showers kind of scattered about blossoming across that kind of intersection of Nebraska, Kansas and Missouri this morning. We're going to watch that area for more development that'll move into southern Iowa the next few hours. Moisture's rushing on in here in that part of the region. Out to our west is our other system for today. This is what's going to bring our evening storms. Boundary working its way across the plains. That'll come into Iowa by later this afternoon, and then the evening is when the rain will become more widespread. So this modeling is not perfect this morning, but I would expect over the next few hours we'll see sort of the southern two tier of counties. Let's say Highway 34 southward. Most likely you'll see a few showers and maybe a rogue storm or two through about eight, nine o'clock or so. Then as we go through mid morning and into the afternoon, there might be a shower or two that festers across southern Iowa, but most of us are going to be dry. Now, if you look at the wind lines here, these streamlines, you can see the wind shift direction right in this general vicinity across northern and western Iowa here by two, three o'clock. That's our front. And then as we head as soon as Bets Bay, maybe four to five, that's when we'll start to pop up some storms along that boundary. And then these will become more widespread as they move farther south and east. We mentioned up in Ames, right? The game starts at one o'clock. Probably need to be moving that along because by the end, some afternoon tailgating, we're going to have some storms ongoing across much of central Iowa. And these will be around all the way through the evening. By tonight, then, we'll kind of change it over to just some showers. Fairly widespread, especially across southern Iowa, not so much farther north. We're now to daybreak tomorrow morning. Lots of clouds, some lingering showers, and that'll be most of your Sunday. A bit of a cooler breeze out of the north. The showers will gradually wind down through the day. You'll notice over that whole loop of the model data, it's mostly southern Iowa that gets most of this rain. It's going to be sort of scattered about because we'll have some storms. That causes variation of your rainfall. Wherever you see those bluer colors, though, half an inch to an inch, I think that's a good bet for a lot of us. Less than that as you head to northwest Iowa, where you see some of these pockets of purple to maybe even red. That's where you maybe we're looking at a few areas localized two to maybe three inch amounts of rainfall. Now temperatures big change here today. Upper 80s feeling close to 90 sticky. Definitely warm for this time of year. Watch as we drop into Sunday. This is now Sunday afternoon. We're barely in the 60s. Now that won't be that way the whole week upcoming. Uh, once we take make this change, 60 Sunday, Monday will steady out to the 70s next week. It'll be drier after one or two showers are left on Monday.